we the jury find the defendant, Joel Michael Guy, guilty of first degree premeditated murder of Joel Guy Sr. Breaking news right now at noon, a jury has found Joel Guy Jr. guilty of murdering his parents. Jurors found him guilty on all seven counts tied to the murder of his parents in their West Knox County home. The jury returned those findings about 45 minutes ago and the family read their emotional statements in the courtroom. 10 News reporter Yvonne Thomas has been following this from the very beginning. She joins us now live outside the courtroom with more Yvonne. Heather, good afternoon, and that's absolutely right. We actually just heard a statement written from a spokesperson of the family that really summed up how they're feeling. We also heard from him from the family members today. What we can tell you is that after four days of testimony, nearly three and a half, three hours or so of deliberation. The jury did reach their verdict. Let's walk you through the counts on which Joel Guy Jr. was charged. Two counts of first degree murder, three counts of felony murder, two counts of abuse of a corpse. Again, he was found guilty unanimously on all seven of those counts. Now, over the last five days of this trial, we have heard emotional testimony from family members about the victims, Lisa and Joel Guy Sr. We've looked at hundreds of pieces of evidence from photos to murder weapons at the crime scene. We've heard from investigators, detectives describing the gruesome nature of these killings. Each team of lawyers provided strong closing arguments for or against the defendant, but in the end, the jury made their decision. The victim impact statement, so powerful, so emotional, began shortly after the jury rendered their verdict. Here's what members of the family had to say this morning. My sister was the type of person who loved, who loved deeply. She loved the family, she loved the mother, she loved the father, her sister, and I, her husband. She loved her children and stepchildren. She loved the grandchildren. Her love was taken. It was taken from this world by, by murder. The night I heard about this, I knew who done it. Cause in my heart, I did. Thank you to all law enforcement and the lawyers, the court, the jury, everyone that had to see all this. And I'm very sorry that this evil's had to come into their life too. And now we turn to Judge Steve Sward for sentencing. Something happened today, though. He was obligated by the court to actually render sentencing for the first degree murder charges. That would be counts one through five. A new court date has been set for November 19th for the, for the charges of the abuse of the corpse. We're going to bring you more updates as we continue throughout the day and in the weeks to come as the other sentence will be handed down. Again, that date is November 19th. For now, Heather, we'll send things back over to you. Yvonne Thomas reporting live for us from the Knox County Courthouse. Yvonne, thank you very much.